Hi everyone. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use the nth term of a sequence um, that's already been given to us and we're going to find any number that appears in that sequence. Okay, I've picked specific ones for you. So we're choosing the 50th and the 100th term. Okay, and what we're going to use is we're going to use our knowledge of last lesson on substitution to help us. Okay, so this um, this is the nth term. So it tells us the nth term of a sequence is 2n plus 3. So I know that this is telling me that, and we need to remember this from our other lesson on nth term, is that the pattern is going up in twos, okay, but it's not the two times table. Each number in the two times table has had three added to it. So I could write a little bit of the sequence to help me out first of all. So the first term, if I'm thinking about the two times table, if I write that down first of all for you, like this, and then I know I've got to add three to each of those. So what I would have is five, seven, nine, eleven. Okay, so that would be my sequence for this nth term. Okay, now if I wanted to find the 50th term, of course I could just keep going with this sequence and keep writing it out until I got to the 50th number and then keep going until I got to the 100th number. But that isn't a very productive way to do it. We can do it in a much more efficient way um, by using um, this n here. Okay, and we're going to use substitution. So if I think about how I got to the number five, I did the first number in the two times table, which is one times two, isn't it? One times two gives me two, okay? Then I added three to give me five, okay? So this is key here, this number one, because that's the first term in the sequence. For the second term in the sequence, I did two times two, and then I added three. So that was for the second term, for the third term, I did three times two. I hope you're starting to understand where I'm coming from, okay? So to find the first term of a sequence, I would replace n here with one. To find the second, I would replace it with two. For the third, I would replace it for three and so on. So if I wanted to find the 50th term in my sequence, I'm saying that n is equal to 50. Okay, so if you remember from last time, when a number and a letter are together, it means that they're multiplied. So I write it out, so 2 times n plus 3. So I'm going to um, substitute my n for the number that I want it to be, which is 50. So 2 times 50 plus 3. So 2 times 50 is 100, plus my 3 is 100. And three. So the 50th term would be 103. We're going to do the same thing now for the 100th term. So if n equals 100, I've got 2 times n plus 3. So this time n is 100. I can underline them so you can see that that's what we've done. And then I would add 3. So it's 200 plus 3, which is 203. Have a go at the questions yourself now.